1985, researchers from France, led by Professor Martin Pixod from the National History Museum in France, have been conducting research in different areas in Uganda, especially in Karamoja sub-region. So that also tells you about the environment. Because the millipedes, they don't live in the desert. Mm. They live in wooded, um, foresty areas. Yeah. 20 million years ago, Mount Park was one, but due to Vulcaniste, it was separated into three mountains, which are Napak, Alerek, and Akzim, found in Iriri sub-county, Napak district. Martin and others work closely with the locals from Napak district who help in searching for the creatures. The gap in understanding what is here, maybe even getting to know where the sites are, so they basically help us in identifying the sites. Using the Karamajongs to do what? To, to study, and then we work together to see that as we do conservation, we also learn about our environment. This week, the team discovered a large extinct mammal close to the size of a hippopotamus. It's not a hippopotamus, but it's the size of a hippopotamus. So these big animals were living here about 20 million years ago. Technocrats from the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, led by the Acting Assistant Commissioner, Museums and Monuments, and researchers from France, explain how Karamoja environment looked like 20 million years ago with water bodies. Tortoises in this area. Eh? So when you're reconstructing, you get to know what is here as a stone, but it is a tortoise. It means they once lived here. Here okay, where there is water in the recent uh, environment. So we still hope that uh, probably there was a lot of aquatic life in this area of Napak. But what happened to those creatures? Does it tell us when we go back to policy in terms of education? What can how we learn about it? Because if it was we had such animals 20 million years, it means that because of climate change, okay, of course now we see that where there were rivers, where it was forested with big woods, you know, big forest, huge woods, uh, timber, now it's not there because of desertification of the clearing of the environment. We are losing them in Uganda. Napak was named among the 100 World Geological Sites. Submitted and accepted last year, so it was recognized as one of the 100 uh, geosites, I would say. And we are still working together to see that we make it a more of a, a UNESCO geological site. The SG announced that Government is planning to set up an open-air museum in Napak district this year. People to come here, okay, move around this bush, and they see that there is something here. There is a fossil here, you know, you, know, you, you see, you interact with them. Napak Resident District Commissioner Dennis Okori and Napak Tourism Officer said this will transform lives in Karamoja district can economically be empowered by tourists coming to visit the area if we streamline the activities here. We put up a one-stop center where people uh, get directory, we recruit local people to be able to work as guides, we give uh, some scholarships for the local people from Karamoja to go and study. Those ones who are idle, at least when they see that the initiative is good enough, is developmental, I think some will be forced to take the initiative instead of thinking of uh, raise. The assistant commissioner at the Ministry of Tourism, VSJ, revealed that creatures found in the Karamoja wilderness will be taken to Uganda Museum. 